Okay, I'm back. Got my coffee. Got a little bit of chocolate. Some dark chocolate with ginger. Mmm. Let's do this. Okay, this is interesting. Obviously, this is just the Coinbase chart, but can you see? We're in the range. <laughs> As always, always the same. We're in the range. Mm -hmm. Basically, whoever was in Litecoin in uh, 2016 has never needed to sell ever could it they were in at like three dollars and it's still at 70 it's basically their bank account basically all well, it is it's become their bank account like the coin This is what I want for TRVR. <laughs> Can you imagine if this, if we had the same behavior of TRVR? If we like ranging at the lows and then suddenly we're up like to a hundred dollars. That's what I'm imagining. Exactly, it's like a stable coin. Look at that. I'll just mark out the, the volume levels first. Similar to XRP, yeah. Probably. I haven't done XRP, but probably it's the only thing about XRP that I don't like is that it's controlled by um, Ripple and they can print, can't they? They can print a lot of coins or something. They could just, they could pump the price up or drop the price. I think I'm in a, a, a diversified crypto portfolio can be very stable if you include fiat in that diversify diversification you'd have to have fiat too and then you have to rebalance your portfolio at regular intervals okay we can get rid of that So the, the value area high of this overall range is acting as an SR flip. That's very clear to see. You can see that. Yeah. 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 And obviously the value area low is acting as support too. Let me have a look at the higher time frames. Um, let me just hide these now. So this is the yearly candles. You had one expansive yearly um, candle. This was in 2017. And then since then the price has been ranging in the top. It looks like 50%. I'll just quickly do a fib on it now. 
um, let's see. I mean, it closed. It is fifty percent, but it closed underneath fifty percent, and then it opened the underneath to go back up. So it's not a great close there, but still, it is the top fifty percent of this candle. Let me just mark that out as well. percent it's down here active as uh support here Solana, yeah, I can do look have a look at Solana. Let me just quickly go smash through this. Uh, I have looked at Sol in the past, but I'll have a look again. So that corresponds to volume. No, volume's lower. That's a pretty strong support here. kind of corresponds to this uh, yearly level which is slightly lower and you have a you have a strong support here as well And you've also got a liquidity level up here. That's a yearly liquidity level. So that's going to be quite strong. a few levels in got some uh, that's like a six month level Maybe one lower down that is actually look, that's a six month level too that is off it change it that's your strongest level at the moment So monthly level there. A couple of weekly levels up there. It's good to have these levels. Just, I mean, it's just good to see, you know, like it gives you an idea of where you're going to find resistance as the price moves just to have an idea an overall idea of support and resistance and these are liquidity levels based on price that's all these are all tapped 
your wash levels. Te technically, this one here is a wash level as well, even though it hasn't touched because it's been front run. But I mean, I'll still keep it because if the price was to come back down, you would take that trade as an SFP into a weekly level. You would take that trade. It's like this one here is tapped as well, lower down, but I mean, it's quite low. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't even consider that. And then you can also do this with daily. I think I'm just going to ignore the daily ones for now because there'll be too many unless anything stands out. I mean, in the lower time frame, you would, you know, probably the closest ones would be the ones to, to consider at the moment. You've got one above here. See, that's a, that's a, that's your closest level based on price this daily level and then the closest one we're forming one now but the closest untapped one is there so you're kind of encased with two liquidity levels maybe i'll show you there's one there as well let's stir one up these ones are cleared see look see that how this green candle goes up clears that level and then the price goes down and there's a level there and the the level this price goes up into the level and then the price goes down these liquidity levels are very important and there's one further down here as well all right uh that's the levels i'll just put those into a group their time frame levels one of those so we have our volume levels we have our higher time frame levels um now let me just have a look at the different ranges so what you can do so we we did identify some ranges um based on the overall volume and what you can do is you can do mini ranges based on these ranges so clearly you can see that there is some sort of range here and then there's a range here so these are two mini ranges and we're in a range now this is like a range um, this basically corresponds to the whole thing here really there's no real dividing lines. The whole thing's a range. Even though this was expansive, there was it was it, it was like a range too. But I'll, I'll probably ignore that because it didn't really range. It kind of just went from one end to the other. It's kind of what I'm looking at at the moment. So based on that idea. I will do volume pools and then what you want to do if you're doing it yourself is once you've identified the ranges the candle that enters and the candle that leaves so that's your from two. so even though I've got this value area higher as the range it's quite subjective do you want a tight range or do you want a kind of wider range probably a tight range so it goes out in, it comes out, and then it goes back in. So I'll do it for when it goes back in. I'll ignore this bit. And then when it leaves, finally. Maybe like that. Let's see. Could play around with it. Oh, why is it taking a long time to draw? So the value area low lines up perfectly with the value area high of the overall range. Let me just try it with a bit more data and see if that's any different so actually <coughs> i prefer the first one just because the the levels line up do the same thing for this one up here slightly wider 
slightly wider and you can actually see that that value area low does correspond you see that that first value area does correspond with the price action it's, it's interesting which makes me think that I should expand this range actually let me see and see that corresponds now too and see that so there's definitely a level there um, and so when I do the middle part, I'll do it from when it enters to leaves this whole thing. Just label these properly. So the point of control of this middle range and the, the, the overall point of control is, are kind of together. They're pretty much similar. But you have this value area high is also reacting as well. So I'm going to mark that down as well. And then I'm also going to do the current range that we're in um, from the candle that brings us in roughly there. And this is the current range. Let me just bring it a bit to that and see if that makes any difference. Okay. So in the current range that we're at, we are at the point, we are just above the point of control. All right. I'm going to mark that out as well, because it's quite important. That's fine. Take a lower level on the point of control there. That's fine. Right. And what you can do is you can keep those, you can put those in your volume levels. And then uh, these fixed ranges, you can group those, call those range pools. You keep those if you want. So you don't have to do them again. All right. That's that. Let's just have a look and see what that looks like on the time frame so this is where your <laughs> this is where your support and resistance is at the moment you can see a lot there's a bunch of resistance up here see that there's a little bit of support down here and then big levels, big levels up and down. It's just good to have an eye on this. Um, just have a look at the candles again, because I like candles. 
Um, all right, so on the yearly time frame, it looks like we are consolidating. Yeah, don't know if you can see that, but you had one year of crazy expansion, which was in uh, 2017. And since then, the price has just been going down and up and down. And, you know, it's kind of like, it's like a, it's like vibrating, like it's boom, it's like that. That's what it looks like to me. And if you look at the six month time frame, you see it's going boom, it's like, it's like vibrating. And now the vibration is, it looks like it's getting tighter and tighter. That's what it looks like to me. As you, as you go, you can see how you can see what's happening. It's like you had this really big expansion and it's just being so we're getting tighter. So you can see that that's what's happening to the price. So we are in some kind of consolidation range at the moment. It's very obvious. We're consolidating on the higher time frame for the next move quote unquote move that's what people are hoping for the next move now um i'm just having a look at elliott waves i'm just going to go all the way back to the beginning and seeing if i can see there should be i mean you would assume there is some kind of five waves here but I, it's quite hard to see because it was just so expand it was just so bullish Where does it consolidate? It's really hard to see. Is that one? Can't really, I mean, can you see five waves here? I don't know. It's like one wave. It's more like one, one gigantic wave. That's basically the movement. Normally when you have Elliott waves, you have like three bullish impulsive waves and two corrective. I'm assuming that's wave one. Don't know. I mean, if that is the one, then that becomes the support for four but then you're looking at the peak of one being at about four hundred dollars being the future support for a wave four that means wave three has to go much higher i don't what's the market cap on litecoin four point two billion I mean, it's not, it's not really realistic, is it? Not. Maybe there is no Elliott waves, you know, like maybe this is just going to range now forever. 
that's kind of what I'm thinking actually because because when you actually do a volume pull on the whole thing ever since Ever since this week, which was the 1st of May 2017, the price has literally been in a range. Been ranging now for 20, for seven years. There's no reason to think that this is going to just break out. Like, I mean, long consolidations are very bullish, but no one really knows how long... <laughs> And how long this consolidation is going to continue for like we just don't know if this is just going to continue like this for the next however many years we just don't know how long this is going to be that's the thing no one knows and because it's happened so long it you, you could get some kind of breakout now or you could just have exactly the same behavior where the price will go into these highs and just fall back right back down into the range you know like you could have exactly the same behavior and i'm thinking exactly the same behavior i'm not really thinking we're going to get some kind of crazy breakout we haven't had a breakout in seven years i'm not expecting a breakout now even though it's a long time i think most people who are in this token to the highs it's like a 5x they'll probably be taking their profit and then are you going to get new entrants? That's the thing, like Litecoin. Does it, is it going to attract new entrants to this market? Like what's the innovation? What's the fundamentals? Like I don't know. But the, right now it just, I see that we're in a range. Uh, we are making higher lows. So that's really positive. Look, low, 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 low. We're making higher lows. And technically, we haven't actually made a high high here. That's the other thing. So we haven't actually made a higher high here. So there was a quite a lot of that tells me there was quite a lot of selling. And it, there was so much selling into that into that level. That the price was unable to pierce the high to make a higher high. Yeah. So these are technically not higher lows because we haven't made a higher high we still that's our higher high these could be higher lows if we make a higher high but we haven't made a higher high yet and so therefore based on this exchange That's your higher high. So what's the higher low? It's down here still. <laughs> so we, st I just think we're ranging. Yeah, I just can't see anything like. I don't. I don't know if I would bother with this coin to be honest with you, Majid. Like if you're expecting a move. I think the strategy for this token is this buy it yeah i don't know i don't see any point at the moment what dan is saying what's the point in buying this token? i just don't see it like look at it we're, we're in a range we haven't made a higher high there is a lot of liquidity above us and below us these are resistance levels and for sure it will be sold into for sure like if you've got litecoin now i don't see why the price won't be sold into 53 percent higher or even more 93 percent you're gonna get resistance if we get above there we'll get resistance you're gonna get resistance 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 and you have an untapped yearly level there so for sure you're gonna get resistance in this token for sure so that's kind of what i'm imagining right now i'm not really imagining crazy moves and we are making 
on this local time frame we are making higher lows but on the overall time frame um we haven't actually made a higher high because that wasn't a higher high it was a lower high so i wouldn't be surprised if we do take that high but that would be it because that would be like a swing failure like i imagine if the price ever did get there anyone who's in this token is going to sell that would be a major key key take profit would be that so the most i would i would think you'd be expecting on this token from the current price is about 5x and i can't see any trades unless let me just quickly do a fib let's see what the fibs are saying as well Yeah, look at that two three six is that value area higher is going to be really strong resistance so that i don't really see a trade here at all maybe as a trader you want you want a swing failure that low there this low here actually probably not probably just this low here i don't know can't tell uh yeah you're probably right dan so let's have a look at the ltc btc chart quickly to just put this into come into the light got it huh? Yeah. The scam wick. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think this is pop problem number one. Look, if you do an overall value volume range pull, we're underneath uh the the value area low here. And I think no no one is gonna be interested in this token until we get back above there like that's your first signal really for getting back interested in this token until that happens i think probably just ignore this token probably yeah i think it's not high enough mar low enough market cap to be interested in this at these lows it's very different to ava you know ava's got a real world use case in the sense that it's a real business and it's a small market cap, so there's a lot of growth potential. And as the crypto markets grow, you know, people are going to be wanting to go on holidays, book flights, hotels with their crypto, and they can do that on Travala. What can you do with Litecoin? Nothing really. Hold on. sorry you must at least look for oscillators that's what dan is saying the macd is flat the cci is in the negative but it's pointing downwards which means not good yeah i wouldn't buy this huh i would avoid this yeah all right I think that's our general consensus, right? We all agree. <laughs> Avoid Litecoin. That this is really concerning for me. You see on the three monthly time frame, 
we had a rejection on this CCI. I really love the CCI and we had a rejection of the zero level. It's like a zero line reject. Uh, I think I could get interested again. Not that I was in the first place, but if this did this, this is higher time frame. That would interest me more than what I'm seeing right now. And then when you look at the other, uh, when you look at it on the monthly, you have something similar going on. It's slightly different. So I, I use these oscillators for in, when I don't know what's going on, just to see if I can see something else. So Dan is absolutely right. You know, there are kind of, you can see like trend lines and breaks and stuff like that with the oscillators and these indicators. So at the moment, I think just avoid Litecoin. Just, I think there's nothing, it's basically a stable coin, except Bitcoin is probably better. So I think that's our final analysis. And I think it's probably just going to continue ranging potentially forever. You know, like that's the thing. Not all coins are going to go to the moon. And this could potentially just keep on doing this forever. And actually, the longer it does this, the, the higher the chance that it will probably go down. You have to remember that as well. Yeah. And the reason why is because even though now it's above the point of control, the minute the price in the future, I'm not saying it's going to happen anytime soon, but the minute the price starts going down and finds loses this lower level in any meaningful way, you've got no volume here. And all of these people who have, who have accumulated in this range are going to be underwater. And they're going to start selling like crazy. Yeah, you have to remember that this is so it's very dangerous to be in this token for such a long time consolidating in this this range. If the price ever ended up falling to the lows and not being able to come back up. Yeah. And the only reason why the price wouldn't come back up is because there's just not enough interest. And if you're trading this, traders are looking for great for the best entries and they'll be looking to long these lows. So as the price, but they'll take their profit at the point of control. So the price will still come back down. It won't go up. They're not going to hold. They will just take their profit. So you'll get sell pressure. So if the, if, if for some reason in the future, the price does come down, then you're basically underneath the point of control, which is going to act as strong resistance for the price to continue. The other thing I'm going to just quickly look at just to kind of expand on this uh, analysis, just for anyone who's interested is have, I'm going to have a look at the Binance futures, Litecoin um, on EXO. I'm going to have a look at the higher time frame. So there is, there is a lot of shorting in Litecoin. That's the only thing that I can say, which might, which, which is bullish. That's the only sh bullish indication I see. Yeah. And the reason why I can tell you that there's a lot of shorting is because if you just look at the CVD, it's going down like crazy and the price isn't the price is making higher lows and the cvd is making uh lower lows yeah this is the higher time this is the weekly time frame yeah and so what's happening is that shorts or selling is being absorbed there's massive absorption of selling now i don't know what that means because that could also be leading if for some reason in the future the absorption stops then the price will drop. But at the moment, in the higher time frame on Binance futures, we're seeing massive amounts of absorption on the higher time. Now we don't know when this is gonna play out, but that also means, well, that means that the next time the price goes up is gonna be more of a squeeze and it's gonna be less of a uh, people buying the price up. Yeah, because what you'll get is you'll get these shorts who get squeezed up that will bring the price up. And then what you'll get is you'll get a situation where people will chase the price 
and then they're going to get wrecked because the price going up isn't people buying it's just the price being squeezed up you, you have something similar going on with doge uh, as well so i think i'd probably avoid this probably but there is a potential for a squeeze here based on what i can see but we don't know when it's going to happen so based on that information if it does squeeze up then as soon as you get into these higher levels just take your profit if you're in this but you there's so many other good coins i think i'll just avoid this All right let's have a look at solana quickly 